All right, everyone. So we are here and getting ready to get started with our roundup season. And so what we wanted to do was to invite you all to kind of be prepared and get engaged. So first, let's start out with some introductions so you can know who we are as you are getting ready to meet with us coming up in the upcoming few weeks. So my name is Nichelle Williams, and I currently serve as our program manager for our WISCAP program. Hello everybody, um, my name is Odalis Rojas Martinez. I am currently a family development specialist and I help out with the Way to Work program during the summer. And hello everyone, I am Miss Monty. I am also a, a family development specialist with Odalis uh, for the summer youth program and I'm excited too. So what we wanted to do is first of all, congratulations to you all for making the deadline of getting your application submitted. And so now the next step is our roundup. And so what is a roundup? Most of you are probably wondering what a roundup is. And so the roundup is mainly going to talk to you all about what you need to do, how that needs to look, so that way we can ensure you are 100% ready as we are getting ready for the summer youth program. So what I wanna first talk to you about is the important location. What we're gonna do is we're gonna meet with you all on March the 8th, and you're going to come to the Wichita Metroplex. That is at 5015 East 29th Street North. So that's right there off of Oliver at the Wichita State Metroplex. You'll come in there, we have two sessions. Now make sure you understand that the two sessions are required. You have to attend as well as your parent or guardian needs to attend. It starts exactly at 8.30 to 11.30. You'll need to stay for all three hours. Or if the afternoon session is better for you, you're able to come from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. You can pick, you don't have to tell us which one you want, but you get to pick the exact session that you want to attend. So I wanna make sure you understand it is required. So if you're going on vacation, because it is the beginning of spring break or you have something else planned, unfortunately this summer, you will not be able to participate in the summer youth program. It is required for you and your parent and or guardian to attend um, on March the 8th. So what we're gonna do is go through a couple of things to get you properly prepared for the program so that you are ready to be engaged with us. And so we're gonna start with attendance. As I told you to you before, attendance is required. Everyone will need to be there. Everyone will need to be in attendance and you'll need to make sure that you come in and sign in up on arrival so that way we can get you a packet and make sure we are accounted for and that you are there. And I'll pass you over to Odalis and she'll talk to you guys a little bit about the dress code because we want to make sure you are properly dressed for a roundup. Okay, so you guys might have some questions on what exactly um, a dress code looks like for an interview. So why is wearing the right outfit to a job interview important? It is important um, most and foremost because it's the first impression, it's the first thing that they're gonna see um, when they interview you. So it's very important to know um, as we go into the slide on what not to wear. What not to wear would be no tank tops, no crop tops, um, shirts that have profanity over them, open toed shoes, shorts or low cut shirts, hats or athletic style st um, attire, hooded sweatshirts and jackets, too much makeup or cologne. And you also don't wanna wear really bright colors um, that will distract any other people getting interviewed or the interviewer that's interviewing you. Going on to the next slide, you'll see what's appropriate attire. If you choose to wear jeans, please make sure that there's no holes on them and that they're not baggy or you're not sagging. Um, any button down shirt that has buttons on them that's buttoned all the way to the top, you can um, tuck it in or you can tuck it out, whichever one is fine. Um, you can wear those button down shirts with a sweater over it. You can wear them with dress pants. You can wear them with khakis mm -hmm. um, or again, just with regular jeans. Polo shirts are also acceptable. You can wear them with a pair of slacks. You can wear them um, for girls. You can wear them with a skirt. Um, make sure the skirt is fingertip length or longer. And um, you can also wear those button down shirts with a cardigan for both um, boys and girls. And um, as I said, you'll see in the slides, um, we have different um, options of what is, um, what is approved and what is not. 
Awesome. Thank you, Odalis. That's good information. And please be mindful. Watch everything. Look at everything and help your friends. If your friends are coming with you as well, make sure you ask them to help you. Um, make sure you help your friends to make sure you are properly dressed. You are there to apply for a job. And so we want to empower you and make sure you are 100 percent ready to get the job. This is your job for the summer. We want to make sure you're ready and dress to impress is going to get you to success. All right. So let's talk about our drug screening, Monty. Let them know a little bit about our drug screenings. Yes. Okay. So um, as a part of our TWTW Roundup, you got a lot of important things you're doing that day. One of them will be your drug screen. You will have to take a drug screen when you come in to do your TWTW City of Wichita to be an employee. Uh, these are done by Kelly Services and, and you, they'll be done on the spot. So you'll know um, your results to that day if you pass or fail. In the event you fail, uh, you will not be able to be a potential summer youth with the TWTW program and your parents will be notified as well. So that's part of the things that we will have to do for the drug screen. So please make sure you know, and I know, and everybody else knows if you've been doing drugs or not, right? So we are a drug-free zone. You are a city of Wichita employee, and it is very vital for us to make sure that when we're giving you a job, that you are ready for that job. So please, if you have been doing drugs or engaging any illegal activity, this would not be the summer for you because you won't be able to pass the drug screen and it's not fair to your parents um, for them to know that you have been engaging into drugs. So if this isn't the summer for you, you can still reach out to us. Let us connect you with the right resources so we can make sure we get you some help to where we can get you off of drugs because we want to make sure that you are clean and you're able to be successful not only for the summer but as well as for the school year as well. Monty, while you're at it, will you go ahead and talk to them a little bit about their photo picture and why that's going to be so um, imp important? Oh, okay. So, um, like I said earlier, uh, some of the stations that you'll be going to, there'll be very different sta stations that you'll go to. You'll go to drug screen, you'll go to other stations. And one of them will be the photo booth. And so, at the photo booth, you will take your picture. There will be a, a backdrop, a colored backdrop, and you'll stand in front of it, take a picture, so make sure you're groomed well. Um, and that picture will go on your actual City of Wichita ID. Now that ID is going to be very important because on the back of the ID we're going to put your employee ID number and your QR code so you can do your timesheets weekly. So, so make sure you want to get paid. So. Exactly. <laughs> no one wants to miss out on getting their money, right? <laughs> and make sure you smile in your picture. <laughs> yes. Comb your hair. Be very well groomed because it's a picture you have to look at every summer. We seem to always get people to say, I don't like my picture. Well, listen, we're telling you in advance, make sure you are well groomed because you are going to have to take a picture. So have please make sure your lip gloss is <laughs> popping and you got a nice fade for <laughs> your picture. All right. Um, the next one we'll talk to you about is as City of Wichita employees. You will also be required to provide I-9 documents. And with those I-9 documents, you these are documents that are required. It, we don't get to overpass them. You are city employees for the summer. So by being city employees, we want to make sure you understand the important documents that are required. So we'll be posting up here. and You'll be able to see there are several different documents that you are going to be required to have. For an example, your Social Security card. You can have your Social Security card. And if you haven't got a Social Security card, we need the confirmation from the Social Security office that you've applied for it. You need a school ID. Your school ID can be used as a justification. If you don't have a state issued ID, we can use your school ID. So if you go to Southeast, bring in your current school ID and we can use that. Um, you can also provide us with a PIF. Most of you know that is through the school district and you can go into the office and ask them for a PIF and then they can provide you with the PIF card and it lets them know that this is your age and this is your grade. Birth certificate, please bring your birth certificate. These are all different options you can bring. You need to bring two of those and you'll also be able to see in your emails you should have received that information as well of what are the documents that you need to bring for supporting documents. So these are required. You have to bring them to your roundup. Why do you have to have them? Because in order for us to pay you as a city employee, 
you got to provide these documents. We have to know that you are able to work in this community. And so we're asking you to please remember to provide those documents to us. Next, Odalis is gonna talk about interviews. Interview. Interviews is very, very vital to us. And so we wanna make sure you are prepared. Um, it's nothing to be nervous about, but let's let her talk a little bit about the interviews that's gonna be going on. Okay. So um, I know it can be a little nerve wracking entering the workforce as a teenager, especially if it's your first year. Um, but think of it as an opportunity to gain multiple um, opportunities for your future career. Starting it at a young age will only make you more uh, marketable as you get older. Um, the following steps are important to prepare you for this interview. So um, make sure you greet the person that's interviewing you as, as soon as you approach them. You can always just handshake them just like this smile let them know what your name is um, and always always remember that first impressions are everything yes. um, these people that are interviewing you are um, potential people that their business is offering you the opportunity for you to work there um, so they are potential employers as well as people that work here in the city um, as well as just normal people in the community. So it's always important to make that first impression. Um, take the opportunity to make sure you express um, your interest in a job because this will also determine what type of job you will get this summer and hopefully, hopefully we can place you in something that you are really wanting. Um, also make sure to prepare to answer practical questions as well as um, stating all the achievements that you have academically and then um, be ready to prepare to tell your story. Um, tell your story, sell yourself Good. to these in interviewers and you know just be yourself, be relaxed. Um, if you need to take a little second to breathe, it's totally okay. It's totally normal to feel nervous. I'm nervous right now. Right. So um, just, know that, know <laughs> just know that it's going to be completely okay. Um, and feel free to ask any questions once it's over. Um, even if it's a simple yes. question, don't be afraid to ask it. Um, they're there to support you as well as us. So just. Good. That's, that, that's really, really good. And I think another good thing about it is parents will challenge you as parents. Practice, watch some videos on YouTube. Yeah. Um, you can practice on what you see on YouTube. Parents, you practice with your teenager and put them on the other side of the table and allow them to ask them several questions and it will help ease attention. It is not a pass or fail for the interview questions. What we wanna do is just figure out what is the best fit. Our end of the goal for the summer is we wanna make sure you're 100% successful. Mm -hmm. And by doing that, we need to know exactly where to start so that it allows us to do that. So good one, good one, on Dallas. I like that. I love interviews because I get to see who's nervous. And then I always get to see exactly what job they want, um, what kind of job that they are interested in. So I love the interview process. The next one is, is a great thing. Um, if you do not have a bank account, I would like to let you know is that we have Heartland Credit Union. They come out and meet with you all and they will sign you up for your own bank account. We focus 100% on you having your own direct deposit. Don't depend on and wait on a check to come into the mail because as you know, and if you were with us last year, you know we don't get to control the mail when it goes out. It literally will be up to when the mail delivers it to your home. So it's most of the time better to provide us with the opportunity to give it to you a direct deposit and you know your check is gonna be available. So if you don't have a current bank account, Heartland Credit Union will be there to sign you up. You'll get your own debit card, your own account number. If you already have a bank account, that's even better. Go by your bank before you come to our roundup and when you go by your bank, you'll go and ask them, can you have your routing number and your account number and you'll bring those documents with you and then we'll be able to attach it and then you don't need that. And then we'll ensure that you have direct deposit. But I think it's good when they are trying to buy us focusing on making sure that they have direct deposit. Yeah. And we want to focus them on making sure that you all are, they're saving money throughout the, throughout the summer. Mm -hmm. Don't spend it all on a pair of Jordans. So <laughs> our focus is to ensure that you are saving money for that. Um, the next one is the parent meeting. Um, we are talking to all of the youth right now, but I want to make sure you as parents 100% understand you play the most vital key to the success of each one of these youth this summer. You are the key um, and we value your opinion and we value your support. And when I say that, what we're looking for is, is we want to make sure that by us doing that, 
you are at the table to hear exactly yes. the expectations for the summer. What we've learned, all of us have learned over the summer is that it has been important for parents to be able to understand what we're looking for. So if we have any issues or anything like that, when you all say yeah. Yeah. that they've been able to come and ask us the different questions or something that way they may need. So I think as m most parents, it is important for you all to be there. We'll have a meeting, explain to you the process, mm -hmm. what the expectations are, what all we need to do, all those different variances. So you are going to be able to be there. Once again, you're going to be there for three hours. So please block out your work schedule, your lunch schedules to be with us for those three hours because you have to be there the entire time. Believe it or not, it goes really fast when you're looking at a lot of kids for the summer. Yeah. I used to think that it went kind of slow, mm -hmm. but it goes really, really fast mm -hmm. and there's a lot of stations to get to. So don't worry, you won't be bored and you'll be there to help with their anxiety because we know a lot of them will be nervous especially a lot of our first summer youth. So parents, please be prepared for our parent meeting. And then I think that is that I think that's all we have left, right? Do we have any more? Uh, just the contact. Just the contact information. Contact. So yes, yes, yes. Please, please, please know that you as parents, you as summer youth, we are excited. We are 100% excited to have you all this summer and we're ready. Are you guys ready? We're ready. Yes. We're ready. This is our like juju. We love this every year because it helps us balance and be excited. And we get to see all of the wonderful things get caught up on life and actually get our little youth period back. So it's really a fun for us for the summer. So you as our parents, we are truly, truly excited for you all. Thank you for allowing us into your space. Thank you, Thank you for allowing us to become a village in your child's life mm -hmm. because that's literally our focus that we'll work on. And we'll talk to you more in detail about it. But we do know that questions or something may arise before you meet with us over the next couple of weeks. So we want to give you a couple of key numbers and our email address. So if you have a question and you need to reach out to us by email, please feel free to do that at twtw at wichita.gov. You'll see that as well um, below on the slides. And then you can always feel free to call us. We're here Monday through Friday from eight to five. And that number is 316-462-3775. Once again, 316-462-3775. And someone will be there to answer your questions and respond to your emails as needed. We're excited. We're ready. We're ready to see you all in a couple of weeks. <laughs> we look forward to seeing you all. Thank you so very much from us to you all. Call us if you have any questions. And let's see, Monty and them have taught me how to do this. So look, we're sending you hearts, <laughs> sending you hearts. We'll see you guys in a few weeks. Thank you so much and have a great, great, great rest of your week.